Hello. Um, so today I will give you some uh, information about our uh, testing activities regarding the balance of plant components uh, for fuel cell applications. And maybe uh, not all of us know what we at the Fraunhofer Institute for Solar Energy Systems do everything in the field of hydrogen technologies. So I will give you a short overview. So we have three uh, departments, the department of chemical, thermochemical processes, the department of chemical energy storage, and the department where I am uh, head of the team, testing systems and automation, the department of fuel cell systems. In the, uh, as, as you can see, the, in the department of thermochemical processes, we are uh, dealing with all the topics regarding uh, synthesis and uh, power to liquid uh, activities all, as well as the activities uh, regarding life cycle assessments. And in the Department of Chemical Energy Storage, uh, we are working in the field of hydrogen uh, um, generation by PEM water electrolysis uh, as well as uh, the activities regarding power to gas. And in the depart department fuel cell uh, systems, we are uh, uh, we are working in the ma mainly in the fields of single cell uh, and uh, special spatially resolved uh, characterizations uh, of fuel cells and stacks, as well as uh, uh, we are also active in the production research for membrane electrode assemblies and gas diffusion layers. And last but not least, uh, we are uh, dealing with in the field of uh, system technology with the balance of plant uh, and operating strategies as the main focus. Uh, and especially we are in the field of fuel cell systems are active for more than uh, 25 years. Uh, and as you can see, we have uh, a, a, lo a lot of uh, R&D topics uh, like uh, the performance characterization or climate tests, lifetime analysis, and as uh, uh, finally also the testing of the balance of plant components. And if you uh, uh, like to be interested in more in detail in all of these fields, so we, ha we have a lot of uh, testing equipment and uh, we have also the possibility to uh, uh, analyze in theory the topics you are interested in. So we are doing also modeling, for instance. So the equipment we have in our institute for the testing of balance of plant components uh, are climate chambers. We have also a vacuum chamber uh, for simulating high attitudes. We have several ex situ analysis, uh, analysis uh, devices uh, like an, a, a scanning electron microscope or a uh, mass spectros spectrometer where we can analyze uh, product butter, for instance. And uh, to analyze balance of plant components under real uh, operating conditions, we have also an a hydrogen compressor where we, uh, for instance, can uh, analyze uh, valves in real operation. And if you are uh, interested in uh, analyze your valves, your pumps, your sensors, whatever um, uh, you have on balance of plant components, uh, we have uh, several uh, test setups and we are also able to uh, adapt your uh, sensor, for instance, in a an, uh, test setup which is uh, specially designed for your ideas uh, for the test arrangements you like to have to analyze. So uh, we cannot also uh, analyze in the hydrogen atmosphere, we can also analyze in, uh, uh, in air or in wet atmospheres or uh, we can, we, ha we are able to uh, heat the, the test setups or we can uh, do free source cycles in our climate chamber, for instance. And 
for sure we can also do a lifetime and long time test so if you are interested to get an idea if your uh, BOP component like a wolf is uh, ready for, uh, for 2,000 hours or more, then we are also able with our test equipment to analyze this. Here are some uh, results and some examples uh, for uh, balance of plant components. Uh, we tested in the, uh, in the past, so one, one example is uh, the fittings. Uh, we, we did it in a, uh, an analyzing exposure test, and uh, after the exposure test, uh, we, we saw uh, a lot of rust there, and we could analyze with our scanning electron microscope that there are several, uh, several components where, um, where the, uh, the reason for the corrosion, like uh, the, the argentum and, and the iron here, for instance, which, uh, which did in connection during the, the exposure test. And so we could, um, could give the, our, our customers, customers a hint uh, if the fitting in this case is ready for an, uh, for, for an operation in a fuel cell system. Or an, another example is uh, an analysis in a wet atmosphere in, in this uh, case. Uh, we, uh, we did a wolf in, uh, for a long time uh, in the ionized water and analyzed later the water uh, with our uh, uh, ionic conductive... Uh, uh, sorry, I, I missed the English word. With our ICP uh, mass spectrometer and then we, we can see which uh, are the... Uh, the metals they uh, are responsible for, uh, for, for in this case also the corrosion. And if you are uh, uh, interested in, in such a test, so we can also identify leakages, for instance. So we can, uh, with our uh, tests, we can give some information regarding the materials, if they are uh, ready for hydrogen and fuel cell um, uh, operation. So uh, we can, can give you, uh, after the long-term tests, uh, uh, information if the ceiling, for instance, uh, is the right one uh, for, for your application. So we can do uh, uh, more or less material screenings uh, and in, in different uh, atmospheres, in, uh, in different setups. This is uh, what I would give you in maybe less than 10 minutes. But finally, uh, I let me know that we also have a booth here. It's C58, if you like to have a good cup of coffee and more detailed information about all the other things we do. You are very welcome also in our, uh, at our booth. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much, Thomas Jungmann. Are there any questions from the audience? Okay, so I think uh, it's an important work you do yeah. from a research side. Yeah. Um, I've realized this week that uh, from the industry side, there was yeah. a big topic about um, standardization. Yes. Uh, what are you doing from a research side regarding that topic? So uh, we, we do several things. Uh, on, on one side, we are also involved in the standardization committees, like the Technical Committee 105, which, which is dealing with uh, fuel cell technology. Uh, and we are able to do uh, standardization-ready uh, tests for fuel cells and fuel cell systems in our labs. Uh, and the component test is one part of this. Yeah. Thank you very much. Further questions from the audience? If not for the moment, please go to their booth. It's yeah. booth C58. Enjoy some coffee yeah. um, and discuss any <laughs> further topics with them. Okay. Thank you very much for having the last presentation yeah. here. Thank you. Thank you.